All right, so welcome back to uh, Illustrator for Scientists. <laughs> I have to read it off my sheet because I've been talking for so long now. We should do a jingle for that, but next time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, okay, so creating things. Uh, so now we're going to uh, cover uh, just drawing stuff. Um, so actually, these are the first tools that you're going to hear about if you read a normal tutorial in Illustrator. For us, it's not that useful, actually. Uh, but sometimes you do need it, like if you do diagrams and, and things like that. Um, so fills, uh, the most important one is of course the rectangle tool. Uh, so all the fills and all the creation tools are located uh, in the second segment of the tools. Um, so the rectangle, uh, if you continue to click it, you have other options, for example the ellipse tool, uh, which creates a circle. Um, as with the, uh, the arrow, if you want to create a square, you hit uh, shift to create a square. And that's pretty much it. Um, so same thing for, uh, again, for ellipses and polygons and things like that. If you click this little guy, you tear it off, right? So if you need to have squares and circles and you need to like go uh, between them often, then you can uh, you, you can take it off uh, instead of having to click for a long time every time. Okay, so fills are pretty uh, simple. To set the uh, color of the fill, um, you click this little guy here, right? Uh, so you want to click, for if I want to make it green, I'll just click over here to set this color. Uh, if you double um, if you double click over here, uh, you get the color editor, right? and you can use that to create new colors. So uh, this is located at the very bottom of the toolbar. Uh, something that's uh, actually quite useful uh, are these little arrows, these little icons. Um, so you can set the basic colors to be black and white by clicking this. And that's going to set the color of the, f uh, of the main fill to white and the color of the outline to black, as shown here. Right? Now, if you want to reverse the selection, because oftentimes you know, you're not like, really paying attention, and sometimes you, you change the color of the outline rather than the color of the fill. Uh, so you just click this guy to exchange the two. Right? That's your, uh, your exchange fill and um, stroke colors. Uh, another way, other ways of, uh, of coloring things um, are the eyedropper tools. Uh, the, uh, is the eyedropper tool that is. Uh, so it's located over the measure tool now. <laughs> so it's this little eyedropper. Uh, so if I want to set the fill of this guy to blue, I can click here. And as you, s you can see, it is now blue. Um, one thing. If you want to set the stroke, is it the right click? Am I, do I, am I correct? Uh, no. From I, the eyedropper? I, oh, from the eyedropper. So no, yeah. that is incorrect. Uh, actually, the thing about the eyedropper is that it sets, uh, it, it actually, um, unlike in, say, paint or whatever, um, it, it considers the color of the stroke and the color of the fill separately. So one thing that's kind of counterintuitive, let's say I click this thing, you're like, well, that's going to set the fill to black, right? Because I'm selecting something that's black. But no, it'll set the outline to black and the thing inside, uh, actually the thing inside to no color because the thing that I selected was exactly had, uh, had a black outline and no color inside. Right? So it works kind of magically. Yes. Um, so w one thing that's uh, so uh, tricks of the trade. Uh, if you create a, if you create a couple of colors that you really uh, that you really like, uh, oftentimes you want to work with uh, like really uh, grayish or um, sand-like colors uh, for most things, except for a couple of colors which are your highlights, and that's really going to make your figure pop out. If it's something that you really want people to pay attention to, um, so. Uh, you want to create swatches. So, for example, you, so you just go to uh, to the outside of your um, 
of your figure, of your document, and create these little guys, right? And then you can set the color of this guy to say, that's gonna be my highlight color, uh, this is gonna be my background color, uh, this is going to be my line color, maybe this is going to be my, I don't know, second highlight color, or whatever. And then once you have these little swatches, uh, you can set things of a certain color just by clicking and then using the eyedropper tool. Cool. Yeah. And you can even set it so that, so, so for example, if, uh, if in a certain spot in your, uh, uh, like in a certain context, you know, you use a certain outline color and a different uh, fill color, uh, then you, you can set the two of them inside the same swatch. So for example, I can have it like this, and then it's going to. It's kind of like a template. Yeah, exactly, sure. it's a template. Um, right, actually, if I open the, uh, Farhan's thing might have swatches. Uh, no. Anyways, whatever.